Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about King, Carmen, and Neek. So as you guys know, over the weekend, Carmen and King went on live and they talked about the situation that happened two years ago. During the live, King was extremely frustrated and he revealed that Neek cheated on him multiple times. And he even said that Neek cheated on him with D. Bacon and several other people. So y'all... He also mentioned that he just never wanted to air it out. He wanted to protect Neek because he has a son with Neek and he didn't want to bash Neek. However, a lot of people were confused because King has bashed Neek in the past. For example, last year, he went on the internet and he said that he never loved Neek. That's bashing the mother of your child. That's also making her look bad. And if you watch the live, like, he really said a lot of things that happened two years ago. And people were just confused, like, why are you saying all of this now? It's been two years. I understand Carmen made the life update video and she quickly talked about the situation. But when Carmen talked about the situation, she never mentioned his name. She never mentioned Neek's name, you know. She never bashed them, so... I don't understand why he took that as an opportunity to talk about the situation, to talk about Neek cheating. Y'all, he even said that both Neek and Carmen were never even best friends. And you know what's crazy? Carmen actually confirmed. Like, he said, oh, right, you guys were not best friends? And Carmen said yes. I'm sorry, but I feel like Carmen is fake because she's saying they were never best friends. But if you look at her life update video he she said the situation with me and my best friend she has called neek her best friend several times now all of a sudden you're on live with king neek is not your best friend towards the end of my video i'm going to attach the whole lie so you guys can watch it anyways let's get back to this topic so i don't know if you guys noticed but when king was talking during the live video like you can tell that he's still hurt by the situation it's still hurting him. You can tell that he hasn't really healed from the situation. Even though he didn't show his face during the live, you could just hear it in his voice that he's just still hurt from the situation and the breakup between him and me. Y'all, this is why it's very important to take time to yourself after a breakup. Some people, after a breakup, they like to move on, get into another relationship right away prevent them from feeling pain they experienced from their previous relationship i'm just gonna quickly give my opinion king did not have time to heal after the breakup with neek and the whole situation that happened because if he did he will not be talking about this situation two years later and if you listen to his voice during the live extremely hurt on the situation because after the breakup with neek he met lena two months later they had a kid they moved in right away like he never really had time to heal. You really have to heal after a really bad breakup. And this was a really bad breakup between him and Eek. Here's a live video with Carmen and King. What I was saying was like from the jump, like you knew and everybody else knew like this was a this situation was a lie. And I, like I said, I apologize to you and I apologize to Corinne just down the third. But it's, like I said, like for the people that you knew that she was already messing with, with me on behind my behind my back at this time you knew all the people and it wasn't just one person it was multiple but when the situation came out everybody tried to play like oh no they wasn't and they wasn't doing this and they wasn't doing that but in reality it was just not just this one person that she was cheating on me with it was multiple other people as well at the same time and it's even the person that she's with now in the same circle so it's like that she's just not cool and it, my name been bashed for two to three years now going on three years september 23rd it's about to be three years the situation been dead and it's like this shit been brought back up and that just like this not what's up no more bro because like i'm tired of like taking these licks and taking these hits like back to back and not saying everything like come on now like that's really been going on for this whole time and you knew just you knew all this i understand that's your best friend you were supposed to say this then a third but all it feels like i wasn't crazy bro you knew this it was before it was real true information that i was trying to get bro yeah and i said that at the beginning of my life i said yeah King D came and apologized to us, and we all talked, like, not together, but individually. We all ended up talking. And before shit even hit social media the way they did, we understood because we all had a conversation on why you said we were out of it. So the whole situation was already handled until she went on Twitter and made that tweet, and now it was like, oh, now we got a different situation because now we got to deal with social media. But you even said that you wanted to be respected on that in because you knew that even if you said why you said what you said, nobody was going to understand why you did it. Everybody's going to look and at you like... 
And that too, and that's the first thing, man, I got a son, I have kids. Like, later on in life, our kids gonna get older and see everything that the fuck that we were doing in our younger life. So everybody should play smart and think about that shit. Like, I do not want to bash the mother of my child and say this, that, and a third, and then that's, that would have been fucked up. My son looking at me later on in life, looking at me like I'm crazy or some shit. Like, damn, dad, you fucked up for that. That's just real life shit. That's and real life like shit. And I'm not gonna point fingers because I'm a man. I'm gonna take my lick because it is what it is. I did what I did too, but you cannot fight fire with fire in a relationship. At the end of the, end of, at the, end of the day, if anybody knew I was doing something, bro, you should have just left me alone from last time. But my situation, whatever I did, that shit was already been done seven or seven or eight a year of, in our relationship already. Like if you took me like for real, son, that shit just like this shit, all this shit brought me just bring it back up, bro. It's not what's up, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I'm just really was in my I'm in my peace of the zone. Like I'm happy where I'm at for real, for real. No cap. I'm doing my thing and I'm getting what I'm getting out the mud once again. I'm starting over from scratch. Just starting over from scratch, bro. I mean, that's yeah, in the day, like that's real shit. That's what I said in my life. That's what I said in my life. I said if I knew that video was gonna be taken the way he was and we talking about the situation again now. I would have never made my video or I would have never said what I said. But then I actually... Which is, I under, and I understand that. And I understand that you was probably just doing, you know, off of your thing. But it's like still the fans, the supporters were still going to knew who you was talking about. And that put me in the, in this light. And I don't like that, bro. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, bro. I, be, I don't speak on shit. I just keep going when I'm going. And every time I get bashed for all dumb shit that everybody don't know the whole story, son. Nobody don't know the whole story, son. And that shit is just crazy to me. That shit is just crazy. But dad, that shit like needs to be dead and stop. Like people stop fucking with me, bro. Like it's yeah, it's so, dead. It's been dead. So it being dead the moment that bro. you know we we accepted the apology and we understood why you you know why you did what you did and said what you said. My wrong was to I guess going behind her back and letting you know what I knew because you went behind Corey back and you told people it's like we just came together gave information i gave out information and it just happened to be like well shit this is why i said what i said and like you said it is more people involved to it but we're not going to say no names because if that's the case it's going to be a long list and, yes, not bro, every, and that's and that's and Brian, to be honest with y'all like this whole stuff why i really distance myself from everybody and just be on my own because like, me outside looking in everybody who had a, it's a lot more people in this situation too than Ain't gonna speak on but yeah it's like it's a lot of fake shit people being back friends with each other and doing all this down third and nah son and then at the, at the same time how my name was getting drugged y'all slippery like y'all just really went low-key and meet with each other and be friends with each other and like come on now like that that didn't that didn't leave me why if i like come on now man come on now Dude, it, he did that you saw what happened like Man, whoever, yeah. however it happened, whoever did what, it still wasn't like that. What I'm saying, it was a lie day. Everybody just let that shit just be on King. Just be on King. When y'all linking, being buddy, buddy, friends, and come on, now, if that was the real situation, nobody finna come back and double back on nobody's friendship. And I said this in my video, you already know that y'all did not have a genuine friendship since JQCG Hulk. Am I lying? No, you're right. Am I lying? Am I right then? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So now people got me, yeah, come on now. Come on now. So that's my video, I mean, at the beginning of the live, I don't know if it was in it since I No, nah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in a live, and I'm just saying, it's just like, yeah, people get, I'm tired of people looking at me like I'm crazy, and it is what it is now. It is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, hey, we, yeah, I know the truth, and the truth, whatever, whoever won't believe on what, whatever the case is cool, and I'm going back in my tunnel with my family and doing what I'm doing and sticking it to my, and yeah, be what I'm on. I just, you just okay. have to be cleared up because I'm tired of it, bro. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, that shit mentally draining.